Hi, welcome back to the Spirit's Path. This is Dee. Today's tarot card of the day out of the Wildwood Tarot deck is a Life Lessons card, Journey. And uh, when I meditate on this card, I don't see... Uh, the, the message that comes across is there's life after death. And not to focus on the death, but to continue focusing on your life. All right, in a normal Rider White tarot deck, this is the death card. And again, death is not about you know, moving on and be in, in, in having an omen that you're going to die. This is all about rebirth, regeneration, um, continue moving forward with life, okay, by looking at what's dead, all right, and leaving, leaving that behind, okay. Now, the ravens, um, I actually like ravens. They're omens for me, uh, just as in um, you know, Game of Thrones, where the raven, you know, was a guide for the, you know, for the one boy, you know, ravens are guides for a lot of people, all right, and, you know, the raven watches over the souls who have fallen in battle. They're also, you know, watchers of, you know, people traveling, all right, um, you know, I've gone through some past lives and, uh, you know, studied, you know, some of the ones that I've had, and I've always been, you know, using that bird's eye view, and, you know, that is that raven that's up there. He's watching over people, all right? And, you know, they are guardians of the dead and, you know, can be that guide to the all-seeing eye. You know, and, uh, you know, the one thing I want to say is death is a part of life. We see it all around us, okay, with, uh, you know, animals and plants in the seasons and, uh, you know, in our own lives when somebody moves on. Um, you know, but we are living, breathing, dying, you know, human being as well. Because how often do our cells die, all right, and then regenerate to give us new life, okay? Um, ideas die, you know, social groups die, all right? But we always find ways to, you know, come up with a new idea or hang out with a new set of people that are more like-minded, all right? Um, so, you know, death is a part of life, and it just doesn't have to be a physical death. It could be, you know, like I said, uh, you know, leaving, you know, to work someplace else. You know, there's there's death in that too, but there's also life because now you've got an opportunity to showcase your skill set in a new op, you know in a new opportunity. Here, though, the journey represents the opportunity for cyclical change. Okay, and as things come along and die off, the ravens will pluck, you know, some of the sinews and, and meat that's left on that elk head to help it grow. Okay. And it's, this is something that the raven doesn't fear. The, the raven looks at it as an opportunity to, to grow in life, all right? And, you know, we as human beings should look at that, and it should be celebrated and accepted as well. So let the past die and acknowledge your deepest fears and desires. Do not fear the change that's coming. It is a time of realignment. And this, this full moon in Pisces that's coming along, okay, it's a dreamy moon, all right? And couple that with that new moon in Leo here not too long ago, changes in the air. This is almost like the wheel card. You know, another life lessons card where, you know, change is going to happen. And it's how you accept that change. It's how you align yourself with your soul, all right, to ensure that you're moving forward on your path. Because old concepts, old ideas, old emotions... Old behaviors, old habits have to die off in order for you to grow. And as a result of that, new stuff comes in. New habits, new behaviors, all right? And that allows you to grow and be renewed and refined, okay? So celebrate and acknowledge the passing of something dead. And then rejoice. Rejoice with patience and calmness on a new opportunity to grow. And we talked about that patience yesterday. And that six of bows, because here you've got the abundance. You may not you may not think you're being blessed in order to make that change, but that six of bows is telling you, you know what? I've got enough harvest here to feed you to where you you are not gonna die. You're able to have enough to share it with others. Prepare for that change. You've healed yourself physically, emotionally, spiritually to move on, to take on that journey, okay, knowing that it's time to move forward. The two of vessels, you're filling your cups up. You're one and one 
with whoever's going to be with you on your path for the short time, okay? And it's time for you to take that journey, okay? It's time to fill your cups up, all right, and move forward. You've got something to drink here and something to eat. And you've got more than you can carry. The other thing that's good about this Two of Vessels card is somebody's there to support you on that journey. Somebody's there to support whatever it is that you want to have die off whether it's a habit or a behavior or whatever, okay? They're gonna give you the support in order to, you know, continue moving forward. The Ten of Stones, you've got the security, security of your own home, you know? And the people that are in there that work so hard to build that, okay, are supporting you. These two cards, that Ten of Stones and that Two of Vessels, you know, people are there supporting you on your journey the other life lessons card during this week, the archer. Keep your eyes set on the prize. Be patient with what's happening. Be steadfast. All right. Just, you know, match that arrow and just be ready to ready to let it fling. But you have to be, be patient with it. That six of bows wants you to be patient too. And there may be a challenge going on, that two of stones, those hairs, they're fighting for dominance. But you know what? Two of Stones is also about juggling things. You know, so maybe you, you know, you're, you were juggling some things, you figured out what it was, you kept your eyes on the prize, and you're moving forward. So that's today's Life Lessons card, the Major Arcana, the journey out of the Wildwood Tarot deck. Uh, hit that like button for me, share it with others, subscribe to the channel, and uh, leave your comments down below. This is D for the Spirit's Path, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care, God bless, and stay safe, everybody.